Hello and welcome back to Attack of the B Team. It has been a long, long time since I actually played this. Shouldn't be that long since the last video upload, but it's been a long time since I actually played. Months, actually. So, I don't really know everything that I was doing. I have played a little bit in between, and I'll get on that real quick. There's a couple things I've done. Uh, I don't think I had this desk last time, which has, it's from Bibliocraft, and I just added that for the, f for fun. Uh, I think I also added this cookie jar, which is absolutely amazing. But, uh, aside from that, let's see, back behind here, we've got where I was playing around one evening with, um... Basically thermal expansion and a little bit of Mine Factory Reloaded. And the reason I didn't record this is I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Uh, well, I'm sort of figuring it out as I go. And I may end up doing some automation and things with that. Uh, and I wanted to have something for lava, so I was figuring out portable tanks. But that aside, what else? Added a couple more machines, more machines for us to get to the moon. Galacticraft has been very glitchy for me. So I ended up doing some of this off camera too and just experimenting with things. But I think we should be able to do it. I also threw some more of these down here for our eventual rocket uh, out of the chasm, hopefully, with any luck. Now, uh, one thing that I wanted to do today, which is why I'm recording actually, is I wanted to change our infusion. Uh, I did find out what happened with Ghost of the Light, thanks to a user named Jeff is the best 11 who commented on my Ghost of the Light video back when it was uploaded. Uh, I don't know when this one will be uploaded, but he informed me that I probably did not have enough altar power, which at first I thought was strange because I thought, well, I thought I had looked and I thought I had realized I did have enough altar power. But aha, here's the thing. When you look in circle magic, for Ghost of the Light, this is for using the potion inside of your circle, you need 2,000 altar power, which at the time I had, and that's all fine and dandy, and I was looking at the potion in here, which just shows, you know, brewed in the kettle like this. However, if you look inside of the Bruise and Infusion booklet, you will discover that to actually brew it in the kettle, you need 4,000 altar power, which I don't believe I had. So, uh, I said I wanted to use up the ingredients or whatever. Uh, so, for the time being, I'll probably make an extra Ghost of the Light, even though I don't really need one. But I'm going to take these three and just, boom, they're out of the game. Delete it in my disposal. Now, what I want to do is change my infusion, as I said, to one I think will be more useful than Ghost of the Light. And I've already got this stuff ready but it looks like I actually need something else. And that is um, a different type of chalk, which I didn't realize. So let's look real quick at the different types of chalks. Those are bolts. Uh, I need otherware chalk, which actually will not be an issue. Ritual chalk. Let's make some ritual chalk real quick with Tear of the Goddess. Uh, Tear of the Goddess. I think it was two of these, maybe. Look how quickly I forget. Uh, well, just one. And some gypsum and some wood ash. Okay. Gypsum. Wood ash. Let's do this. Here we go. Gypsum. Wood ash. And Tear of the Goddess. Two ritual chalk. Ritual chalk. And we'll get these put back up in here real quick. And now we want other word chalk. Four lapis, two water choke, and an ender pearl. Uh, an ender pearl. Do I have any lapis in here? Yes. Four lapis. And two water artichoke globes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Um, let's do this, do this, and this, this, and this. Other word chalk. Awesome. 
Uh, do we have a gold talisman? Actually, it's because we did lose our bag that one time. No, I don't think we do. Um, hmm. You know what? We're also going to go ahead and make uh, a circle talisman. A couple. Oh, my. Okay. So we've got. We need just gold and a diamond. Let's do this. Uh, here we go. Probably doing this backwards. No, I wasn't. That's good. Alright. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay. Turn this off. Uh, was it just like unknown right? No, I don't actually remember how to. Aha! That was it. I knew it was something to do with these things. Okay, so that's a small ritual, medium ritual. And now I don't really remember. Well, this was the center. So, let's look at this. Uh, not this. Look at this. Out two and make three. Hopefully I do this okay. One, two, make three. One and three, one and three, one and three, okay. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. One. And now. Now what? I don't remember. Do I have to draw something in the center? I don't even remember how to do this. Um. Okay, one, two, oh, five. So, one, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay. Now, let's actually go back to the beginning of this. The heart glyph at the center. Draw circles using colored chalk with a heart glyph at the center. An altar is often needed. So, wow, it's been a long time. A heart glyph? How do I make a glyph? I don't... Do I just use a gold chalk? No, that can't be... I don't remember. Oh, man. I can't believe I forgot how this works. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I remember. It's a... I need a gold chalk. I'm pretty certain. So, we need to do another chalk. Redstone, dandelion, yellow, and three gold nuggets. Uh, are there any yellow flowers around here? I don't see any. So, let's do this. I need to grab some gold from inside anyway. So, here we go. Uh, dandelion puff. Nope. Do we have any yellow flowers? Yes. And I need... How many do I need? Four, which might take two of these, actually. Yep. And... Redstone and gold nuggets. Okay. Easy enough. Let's grab some extra gold nuggets to just have in the other area. And... That'll be gypsum. That'll be that again. Okay. 
easy enough to do. And we don't need... Well, actually, I'll make another thing. So, here we go. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We need gypsum and wood ash. Bam, bam. And a tear of the goddess. So, here we go. Tear of the goddess. Wood ash. And that's not gypsum. Well, it was kind of close. Here we go. In the thing. And ritual chalk. And let's get this in here. Let's make one of these stay in here. And let's make one of them into a gold chalk. So here we go. Get this. Get this. And redstone and three gold nuggets. Okay. Looking pretty good. Now, we want to keep this. We're also going to want, actually, uh, one of these for when I put that back down. Why do I have I have an Oh, I have Ender Belongs. With, oh, I took all the ingredients for the thing out of there. Okay. Now, let's just real quick take the diamond, which I need to bring more in here, I think, to make one more of these for picking up the next uh, thing. So there we go. We should be ready on the circle front, which is fine. What we're going to do now, though, is brew. We need Redstone soup, potion of swiftness, eight minutes, eye of ender, eye of ender, drop of luck, wool of bat. So, let's try to get all that out here. Redstone soup. Uh, potion of swiftness, drop of luck. Hmm, what else was there? Two eye of enders and a wool of bat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that it? Should be, should be. Alright. Let's just double check. Eye of Ender, Eye of Ender, Wool of Bat, Drop of Luck. Okay. And some potions. Let's do this. We should have enough altar power. The Yep. Plenty. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six. And it changed. Fantastic. And we got ourselves two Spirit of Otherware. Okay, now to use it inside of here. I believe we just drink it in here. I think that's what we did with the Ghost of the Light. Uh, it's all the way back here in Infusions. Which, spirit of otherware, stand in the circle, altar power must be 4,000. So let's make sure it's back up to 4,000. It just managed to be past it. And I did already make and tag lock a death protection poppet. Because we will likely die if we didn't. So let's do this and hope it all goes smoothly. Oh, it poisoned me. Okay, well... That's happening. Did it work, though? Oh, it hasn't used up my death protection pop. It. Uh, did it work? I don't know. Let's wait for this poison to wear off, I think. Oh, I don't need any hamburgers yet. Um, oh, it didn't work. I did something wrong. Okay. Um, let me figure out what I did wrong, and I'll be right back. Luckily, it made two, so there you go. Okay, I'm back, and I very quickly realized the error of my, oh dear, of my ways. Uh, I wasn't supposed to drink the thing. 
I was supposed to, uh, oh, oh, there's a party over here. Oh, wow, that's quite the knockback. Eh. Eh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to drink, let's have a burger, actually. I'm not supposed to drink the potion, I'm just supposed to throw it in here, uh, which I should have realized. So, let's make sure we've got the altar power just in case, I don't want to waste my other one. And yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Toss it in. And act. Oh, come on now. You must stand in the circle spirit of otherware. Infernal chalk. Huh. What? Oh, my chalk broke. Okay. Is that... Oh, there we go. Woo! Okay. It has been done. Let's just pick up this uh, otherware circle. These, these circles real quick. Let's lay this one back down. And let's reactivate it to recharge your magic with uh, a potion of regen. And it's active again. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty cool, actually, Our the change in our magic meter. So, let's pop that in the bag. Let's, oh, I also I got this creative tool modifier when the mod pack updated, but I don't really know. It's something from Tinker's Construct. Um, yeah. Let's put our chalk away and put away this extra circle. And let's try this out. So now, we can teleport to where we... Oh, dear, there's lava. To wherever we aim. Oh, oh, okay. So that's pretty neat. Now, we should be able to activate or create a uh, waypoint, actually. And I think it's shift right click to do it. So say I want one right here. I think I just hold it and let go and it clicks. Now, whenever I shift right click, no. Let's see. I've got the wiki open. It says, hold right-click while sneaking until you hear a pling sound. Okay, we're doing that. Oh, there we go. So now, I just had to hold it longer than I was. I should be able to, bam. From anywhere, I can just instantly teleport back there, which is really convenient because that's where I keep all of my, or most of my stuff. So yeah, and by left clicking I can, or if I just hold right click, I can teleport a longer distance away. That's cool. Um, and if I left click, I can teleport a mob into the air with me. So, okay. Are there any mobs around? Uh, whoa. We're gonna go into the air, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I nearly killed you. Uh, that wouldn't be the best. Ow. Okay. So this is pretty neat. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm really excited, actually. We. Oh. Let's, uh... Come here. Uh, oh. Uh, I killed him. I don't need your meat, guy. Okay, uh, this is actually a lot of fun. Bam, well that is so cool. Okay, well, I didn't really have anything else to do right now, so this may actually be the end of an episode uh, until I figure out what else to do. I want to do some more stuff. Actually, before 
uh, we get going, or I get going, I'm going to just take a look in here and see what's going on here. Explore necromancy. That is very done. Uh, put a T-Rex on the explore, which tree is still underway. Enhance portals. That's done. Uh, put a T-Rex on the moon. It's going to happen. I do have a T-Rex ready. Oh, I also made this disc rack at some point. Explore genetics. Haven't even begun attempting at all in any way, shape, and or form. But until next time when I might either be doing some moon stuff or making some very cool witchery robes, I will see you later and thanks for watching!